Okay, watch the episode of Better Call Saul with my kitty. And now I'm back. Almost ready to take on this fight that I don't remember what it is. Probably one that's going to kill me. Oh, hey, I didn't turn the sound back on. Probably do that. And what the hell just fell? Something fell and made a noise. Why were you in the fucking air? Oh, I went up to jump. I'm like, I thought I did a hell of a knockup. blocking supposed to get through this like that Scout. Uh, arbitrarily disappeared. looks familiar.
cut down. Don't see a cat up here. Sure it does. Topaz fragment, that's useful. Get right on making some topaz gear. Calcite, just as good, if not better. Y'all seen a cat around here? I gotta make it hidden. This one was in a bush. This one could be just as obscured, if not more so. is one.
opportunities, pillars or anything, are you? Fuck. Look pretty much everywhere. Uh, fine. Google it. Hey, it's my mouse that's missing. That's what fell down earlier. In the top portion, and I must have walked right past it and not saw it. One of those tucked back places where I found the treasure. But uh, I mean, from what I read real quick. Yeah, I would have never fucking found that. It's a good thing I googled it. Not for teleport after. This is the last one. It should be, considering I got all the towels. I've already milked this dungeon far too much. Saw beetles in the group of enemies outside. I'll tell you to. Game. 
bullshitting with the phantom inputs to the very end. Uh, I should say that once it starts bullshitting me in the final boss fight. I'm sure it will. I'm just gonna mess. Is not one of fucking Mystic Art. Oh, I got three things missing. Mystic Art, fucker. Do it. Thanks for doing what you're supposed to do. Wonder if it'll let me do another Mystic Guard at the end of this. Probably not. Oh, look at that. Now the question is, what game do I play next? Jump back into some Rainbow Six, try out For Honor, try Wild Terra Online. There's a picture of Norman Island on your back. portion and there one there and presumably one up by the exit Me. We will need to be extremely wary. No mercy! 
wounds, I won't heal. Hard in the flesh. Make for pain. You got me so bored I'm yawning even though I slept all night. Oh. Seven hours. Seven hours is enough. This is why I fucking turn the difficulty down for this bullshit thing. Even with 15 minutes given to me. I'm simple. I've already burned through almost a third of it. I'm not farming so much gear that I can tear through this and make it easy. Make the final boss a joke too. If I did do that. Not that the bosses haven't all been jokes anyways. The reason they've gotten kills is either bullshit or me just, you know, lackadaisically handling these fights because I'm so over this game. I did not tell you to swap in. I accidentally told you to swap in. These guys got this much life on simple, I can't even fathom how much I would be pissed off to do it on chaos. No reason for this kind of health pull. No reason whatsoever. Hey, is everyone all right? Been better. Like it's gonna be a tight time limit even with this simple mode bullshitting. all the enhancements from the cat. I 
couldn't find that cat. Man, this would be such a pain in the ass. Ooh, even impossible. We're finished here. We will need to be extremely wary. No mercy! Wounds that won't heal! Cards in the flesh! Lethal pain! Whoever said the first floor is the easiest is bullshit because this would be so ridiculous. No mercy! You thought I'd stop there. Annihilate it! If you wanna live. Come with me. I don't think we have a chance! The power! This might be the final boss. Oh, right. Huh. Turn that back up. And save.
Need the we end. Need to be extremely As wary. Attack. As attack. Resistance. Fucking everything. How am I supposed to hurt it? Down. 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 Do combo of twin width. Um, okay. Go ahead and activate that on your own. Wow! See how much fucking damage that was? Who guard? Maybe your last boss, but come on. Be quick. Mr. Guard, thank you. That's the way, man. Every time has me paranoid. <clears throat> Joking a little. I'm slim. Badass back here, I ain't done with you. You thought I'd suck there. 
Annihilating crash! Okay, so much for Mystic Guard. Maybe now? Maybe? Oh, come on! Of course, it gets me in that point where it just decides not to Mystic or not to Theronize after a Mystic Guard. Fine. Neo Elixir. Cut us back here. I ain't done with you. And let me miss the guard so I there and I. Goddamn Mystic Art one of these times for fuck's sake. Probably before I die. Not this time either, huh? Holy shit, let me fucking fairy and I right after it. Almost like the mechanics work. No mercy! Wounds I won't heal! Hard to deflect! Make my pay! Little delay there, but not before he attacks, so it's okay. Realized when I saw him standing there doing jack shit. I forgot to do that. Seems so useless. Like, level 20. Not a very high level. I 
want to see if it works. Even though it says level 20 plus those. It did not. Can't say I'm surprised, but I had a check. Instant one. Oh shit, wrong thing. I could do an arcane bottle. Graceful. Why are you guys not using your mystic arts? Kinda lame that the final boss is a boss he fought two other times just with a ridiculous amount of resistance and health. Pretty lazy. That's assuming this is the final boss. And that I didn't just waste all those items on a mini boss. Pretty big assumption, huh? I mean, as soon as I saw all resistance, I'm like, alright, it is the final. Really, I thought that forever came in because of just numbers, you know. Got all the tiles. That means final boss time. I refuse to fall here. Means nothing at this point. We're about to end the game. Please, miss. Can you tell us what happened in the Heavenly Realm? As you wish. As a young Malakim, you have every right to know the nature of the events in which we have entangled you. To the Seraphim, malevolence is as poison. The Earth Dwellers create malevolence and therefore pose a very real threat. Thus, the Seraphim decided to eradicate the surface world, humanity included. <laughs> but that's insane! There did dwell among the Seraphim those who desired coexistence with mankind. Those they were dumb. more merciful Seraphim made a bet with the ones who sought annihilation. They descended to the earthly realm. They would prove that they could overcome the malevolence and live among the humans. And those Seraphim became the Empyreans and the Malachim. Just so. And when their dream is realized, the heavenly gate will open, and humanity and Seraphim, the heavens and the earth, will be as one. And so, the pact was formed between our realms. But even after tens of thousands of years, that dream has not come to be. There was never any chance. In exchange for making the pact, the remaining Seraphim imposed a rule upon human and Malak. More a curse than a rule, truth told, it made coexistence impossible. From the beginning, the Seraphim decided to cast us and the humans aside and to destroy us together. It was all meaningless, futile. A rule and a curse imposed upon human and Moloch. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I see where this is going. Yeah. I think I get it. I don't like this.
waste all that shit because it wasn't actually the end. Oh look, it's another cat's. Well done! You've come a long way to find me here. Meow. Now, as for your reward... If it's another cat's towel, we have plenty already. No, meow. I think this should still be worth your while. Because I'm throwing in a gel! A gel! Why are you cats so insistent about us having this stuff? Because they're cat's towels! Everyone deserves a cat's towel! Meow. There's something every cat loves! Something the whole world loves! Uh... All right. Okay. If you insist, I'll take it. <sighs> now I'm stuck with one too. Fuck. My count was off. Chamber made me think I had six things. Fuck me. The ones where they give me. No? I might be different. So wasteful because I just assumed that was the last boss. Maybe not. Heavenly Gate? There's some cutesy looking creature over there. I'm impressed. You have actually made it all the way to the Heavenly Gate. That voice. You're the one who's been speaking to us? Flying pig? Yes, that is me. I am Zuifu, a Malak and former Seraph. Wait a minute. You're a Rapig. Did the curse you mentioned turn you into one? No, that's just how she naturally is. She's like Morgrim that way. That curse is what turns humans and Malachim into demons and dragons, right? That is correct. The Malachim who descended to the surface banded together with like-minded humans. They truly believed they could change the world. But because of the curse, their cooperation came to a swift end. Even minor disputes gave rise to malevolence, and demons and dragons quickly filled the land. The demons shredded the Malachim who loved humanity, and the dragons devoured the humans who trusted the Malachim. Nearly all Malachim abandoned their dream of peaceful coexistence and distanced themselves from humanity. They would forever regret having descended from the heavenly realm. Then every dragon we fought on the way up was here simply because they were trying to get back home. That must be what the cats meant when they said this place has the power to draw in Malachim. What about you? Are you one of the Malachim who gave up? It was futile. Humans with resonance, already rare, dwindled to almost total extinction. Eventually, they forgot the very existence of us Malachim. Malevolence spewed forth endlessly, and again and again did demons and dragons cover the land. If Enominat hadn't subdued the world and reset the balance, mankind and Malachim would likely be extinct. Is that to say Enominat is a safety valve of sorts? That is precisely his function. Enominat stands as an auxiliary Empyrean, tasked as the final bastion preventing this world's demise. Oops. Malevolence spreads. Enominat suppresses. Malevolence spreads again. We're stuck in a vicious cycle. Oh my! 
Seems like we're screwed. Our only hope lay with the Empyrean's Pact Keepers, but... A Pact Keeper? A Pact Keeper is one who possesses an honest heart and strong enough resonance to form a pact with an Empyrean. Unfortunately, the current Pact Keeper, Artorius, is using Innominat's power in an attempt to control the nature of humans and Malachim. Although, when the alternative is an eternal cycle of tragedy, perhaps it is better not to feel tragedy at all. That isn't funny. It's not a joke. I believed in humanity for tens of thousands of years, but there's no point. And what of you? Do you still cling to the hope that malevolence can be extinguished? That we can coexist? I'm not sure I care. What? I'm tired of you going on and on about how everything is futile, so I've got one thing to say. Wallow in your own misery for all I care, but this so-called earthly world is where we all live. Yeah, maybe it's futile, and maybe it's irrational, but as long as we're born here, here is where we live. Right here, we're living our lives. Humans, demons, Malachim, witch, reaper, exorcist, each one of us! But the time for Inominat's suppression is close at... I will stop it! No matter what! You... You've learned the workings of this world, and yet... I don't give a damn about Seraphim in some heavenly realm, or the nasty way the world works. When it comes down to it, I'm still me. What I hope for is mine to decide. And no one else's! <sighs> well... If everyone said their piece, let's get going. I truly feel your pain. I honestly hope you can find a way to be at ease. You keep on angsting about this heavens thing. Just leave the rest of us out of it. And if you get in our way, we will not go easy on you. Humans are peculiar. They You're peculiar. Are. They're strange, scary, and they do what they want. But really, if you ask me for my opinion, I honestly don't think that their world is all that bad of a place. Do you think you'll still be saying the same thing when you've become a dragon in the ages to come? I... really don't know. But... for now, I'll live my life to the fullest. If there exist Malachim and humans like that, perhaps some hope remains after all. No big final boss. Zenrus, perhaps there will come a time, as you had hoped, for humans and Malachim and Seraphim. Thank you so much, Meow. To show you my catitude, I'd like to invite you to a nice, soothing bathhouse I found, Meow. A bathhouse? Yep, the Super Spa. One dip in their baths and you'll feel as good as Mew, inside and out. Speaking from experience, I can promise you it's so amazingly perfect, your soul will leave your body. Super Spa, is it? Wait, is that why we've been lugging around all these cat's towels? You got it, Meow! It's not a mixed bath or anything, right? No need to worry, Meow. Men and women both have their own dedicated baths. If you insist. I could definitely stand to unwind after so much fighting. Mm-hmm. I'm positively tingling with anticipation. You know, it might be nice to have some serious bonding time before the final battle. Actually, I've never been to a bathhouse before. Oh, you're in for a treat. That steam will have your skin silky smooth. And there's nothing like a good drink after a hot bath. This gate of travel will take you there straight away. Feel free to use it anytime. Meow. Alright. Okay 
with this. I'll second that. This feels really nice. Yeah, it's like I can feel my soul just floating off with the steam. Feels like all my wounds are melting away. Ah, I'll say. The water is just the right temperature. Soothes all the important places. Wait, what? What the hell? Don't splash the water around, Velvet. That's totally bad manners. I can't help it. My legs don't reach the bottom. Oh. Wait, am I in Fee's body? Oh, and I'm inside Rokuro. Oh, look at these muscles. <laughs> I'm actually as tall as I always wished I was. What the devil's going on in here? This is what makes this place so special, Meow. You feel so perfectly divine that your soul floats away and switches bodies with someone else, Meow. Sheesh, looks like even Bianfu and the cats have swapped bodies. Wait, does that mean that the men are now in our bodies? Well, this place certainly wasted no time in getting weird or awkward. Uh, I'm not really comfortable with this. What do we do? I feel like I've got an inner tube strapped to my chest. Aizen, is this another side effect of your curse? As if the Reaper's curse would do something so ridiculous. It's probably just that cat's playing a prank on us. I'm amazed that you can stay so calm despite all of this, Aizen. Ha! This doesn't bother me in the least. My sister and I used to take baths together when we were kids. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we might as well enjoy ourselves. The water here does feel quite nice. Rokuro, you lech! Cover your eyes this instant! Fine, fine. No need to shout, Eleanor. Though I have to say, your body is nicely agile. Though your butt is a bit bulky. Hey! Keep my hands to yourself! Uh, Eleanor, don't stand up! Hey, cats! We better not be stuck like this forever. No need for concern, Meow. You'll all go back to normal once you leave the spring. Right then, everybody out. This is just too weird to be relaxing. Actually, before we go, I've noticed the cat's been staring at us for pretty much the entire time. Yeah, that's Bien Fu. Smack him for me. Got it. That's too bad. It was such a lovely hot spring. I wish we could have stayed a little longer. No, you really don't. Let's all agree to forget this ever happened. How do you expect us to do that? Don't go asking for things we can't actually do. I said forget it! If you insist, I'll, I'll try. Uh, fine. Yeesh, so much for a nice team-building exercise. I feel like this has just driven a wedge further between us. I heard you kept your eyes covered the whole time. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's so you. What's the problem? I was just trying to be polite. It's fine. There's no problem. But I didn't cover mine. Oh. oh, Velvet! Why would you even tell me that? All right. I guess, uh, the end. I'll do a quick run to all the different cities to make sure there's no new things, but... Even if there is, I don't really give a shit if I miss something. Yeah, 
game's fucking exhausting. A quick peek through to make sure I didn't miss anything. That is. Travels too damn slow. Give me anything for clearing that dungeon? Here just to make sure. And you know, should have an exclamation point if there is, but just in case. That I did miss something. We got here. Hey, have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking Pengyon around. I didn't know Pengyons could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Moggy Lou's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local legend has it that when the end times come, a talking Pengyon will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone who's encountered this Pengyon has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure it's not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia! Is that supposed to be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but whatever you do, you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? Uh, hit up the shop real quick then. Mm. 
I missed something. Or this didn't unlock until now. One of the two. Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're going to look for that talking penguin, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. Look, Velvet! There's a penguin! Oh, good evening. Lovely weather, isn't it? It really talked! I can't believe it. Something I eat can talk? Huh? Wait. Do you guys eat us penguins too? Why does it matter? Please answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but yes, I eat them. And I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that. Oh, and what's a cutesy little penguin like you plan on doing about us big, bad humans? Uh... And a guy from that game. Sorry for deceiving you all, but I can't. Can't let you hurt any more penguins. <laughs> Oh, ah! No mercy! 
I think I was supposed to find him way, way sooner, because that was far too easy. Yeah. I turned back into a pangyon. No matter. Wait, why are you so intent on fighting us when you're outnumbered? I have to protect my fellow pangyons from the likes of poachers like you. Poachers? We're not poachers, I swear. We just came here to see a talking pangyon. Really? Then why did you guys say you eat pangyons? Sorry, I guess we should have explained more clearly. This one will eat anything. It, yeah, sorry about that. And as for me, the only pangyon I ever eat is what I buy properly at the market. We're not good people, but we're not those kinds of villains either. Oh, well, in that case, I should apologize for jumping to conclusions and picking a fight. I just ran into some pangyon poachers earlier, and I'm afraid I'm a little on edge right now. Those must be the other people who've spotted you here. They're all sick and dead just from the shock of meeting you. Small fries like them, I bet they'll think twice before they try to poach another animal. So, what are you then? Some special representative of Penyon kind? No, I'm Jude Mathis. I'm a medical student from Riza Maxia. A medical student from Riza Maxia? It's in a different world from yours. Actually, I'm a human just like you all, but... Somehow I was flung into this dimension, and when I came to, I looked like this. So, basically, you're a human from another world, but when you came here, it made you turn into a pangyon? This story of yours, quite a tale. The whole thing's pretty hard to believe. It certainly is. However, when I was lost and confused, the pangyons here were kind to me and took me in as their own. <laughs> I wanted to repay the favor to them since they've done so much for me. So you've been protecting them from any poachers who come. But don't you have bigger things to worry about right now? Looks to me like you're too soft-hearted. I get that a lot. Well, we've heard your story. But even if it is true, it doesn't sound like there's anything we can do for you. Don't worry about me. I'll figure out how to get home on my own, one way or another. The problem is that a friend of mine got sent to this world with me, but I haven't been able to find her. My hunch is that she's also turned into a pengyon. You haven't heard of any other talking pengyons, have you? Can't say I have. Sorry. Oh, okay. What kind of person is this friend of yours? Maybe we'll run into her later. Her name is Mila. She has pretty red eyes and long golden hair. She carries herself with dignity and possesses a commanding presence. What else? Oh, and one of her quirks is that whenever she sees something tasty, she drools. That's an interesting quirk. You mean she actually drools? Also, she's known as the Lord of Spirits, because she's accompanied by four summon spirits with command over the elements. Ooh, Lord of Spirits. How royal sounding. Got it. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. It may be hard, but try to keep your spirits up, Jude. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys get a lead on Mila. You care about her even more than yourself. Uh, well, how do I put it? She's just... a really special person to me, I guess. Fair enough.
Sorry, responding to something real quick. Given some ooh. Oh, well, it would have been good if, you know, I didn't need it at this point. A talking penguin. So I gotta find this I other one, that apparently. Up, right? No, that penguin was very real. Or rather, it seems to actually be a human named Jude. He said he came from another world. No matter how much we see, life is still full of mysteries, isn't it? He's got guts, I'll give him that. It'd be nice if we could help him somehow. He's kind to Pengyons, too. If he was telling the truth, that would make him a castaway from another dimension. We seafarers always help out anyone who's adrift. Personally, I'm curious about this Mila girl, the Lord of Spirits. She might have a connection to the four Empyreans, or even Inominat himself. Seems unlikely, but I suppose anything's possible. Just in case, I'll keep everything Jude the Pengyon told us in mind. People are all upset. I made a posted a picture of some cats and a ra couple raccoons on uh, Reddit. I'm getting all kinds of hate letters. Like, Why do you overfeed your cats? Why do you let them near those raccoons? Ain't my fucking cats. My cat is of a healthy weight, and I wouldn't let her out near fucking raccoons. I'd eat the shit out of a raccoon if it got near my cat. People just assume. Yo, it's just memes, yo. I didn't pay enough attention to that dialogue to know where the next part of the quest is. Or they didn't outright say it. Sounded like I'm getting the other person from, uh, what is it, Zillia? Because Zillia, I think that's what those two are from. in a while. I found it. You guys see any uh, Duncan Penguins around here? Let's check the tavern in the inn while I'm here. I missed two things. Here. Get up on the rooftops. Fucking ladder is. Here. Oh no, that's not what that is. That is at all. Person right here that I walk right past, I'm stupid. I heard you put a real dent in the exorcist's strength. I take it you're a bloodwing? Got any new information for us? With all the turmoil, there's a lot of noise out there. But I've heard one rumor that stands out. So there was this skilled exorcist Praetor at the top of his game, yeah? Apparently, he got taken down by a Pengyon. Oh? And how'd this Pengyon supposedly pull that off? I know it sounds like I'm pulling your leg, but I'm serious! The Praetor said the Pinyon attacked with arts of earth, water, fire, and wind. The four elements. That's not all. From what I hear, this Pinyon sports red eyes and a golden coat. They call it Goldapin. All right. So where is this Goldapin? The attack happened in the Figal ice caps. But I gotta warn you guys, Goldapin is said to be an ominous creature that signals the end of the world. 
Listen, I'm telling you this for your own good. Whatever you do, you'd better steer clear. Why would you say that? Oh, now we have to check this out. So it's a penguin with red eyes, a gold coat, and control over all four elements? That must mean... They're calling her Goldapen, huh? I've seen a lot of things out there, but never anyone who has mastered all four elements. Excluding myself, of course. <laughs> Whatever she is, if she's taken down a Praetor, she might be willing to work with us. Or, you know, it could be a trap. This strengthens the case that she could be connected to the four Empyreans. Either way, we should probably go and find out. I'll send word to Jude and Isalt. Hold on. That might complicate the situation. We promised we'd let him know if we heard anything. I'm just staying true to our word. Fine. But I have my own way of doing things, too. Fucking flooded with males. I got like 30 fucking messages on Reddit telling me how I'm abusing cats because I have fat cats. And I don't even have a fat cat. Uh, people just. They get worked up about that shit. I don't give a fuck about other people's cats. I care about my cat. And I totally didn't pay enough attention to that. We're in the fickle ice cap. Which side? She's even got that... quirk. Be careful. If what we heard is true, she can use those four great spirits in battle. Uh, see? She's drooling. Does that mean she thinks we look... tasty? Does that mean she's a man-eating Pengyon? Wait! Don't fight! Hey, I'm fighting it's words. Jude. No matter how much Mila loves to eat, she'd never attack a person without a good reason. Huh? Wait, this Pengyon isn't Mila. Are you all right? When I got your message, I ran all the way here. Without stopping to eat or drink. That's enough. When will you people learn to leave this Pengyon alone? Hunting for food, I could understand. But I won't allow you to take this creature's life on some flimsy notion of bad omens. If you want the Pengyons, you'll have to fight me first! Internal Taurus! Who the hell are you? I'm Mila Maxwell, and I'm the protector of Pengyons. No mercy! Wounds I won't shield! Fight! Break the way! 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 Break the Wheels! 
Yeah, I think I was supposed to do this back before the final dungeon. Probably never popped in that one in. It's just it's so easy to overlook the indoor parts of town. Wow, what a powerful mystic art. strong. You know your way around a sword. As do you. I can see that Jude wasn't exaggerating when he called you the Lord of Spirits. Jude? Do you know him? I've been looking all over for him. He's Didn't right you notice there. the penguin has the same voice? Oh, Jude! Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. Mila. You can tell it's me? Of course I can. You're a lot smaller on the outside, but you're still you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Mila. That being said, I haven't exactly had an easy time in this form. Hmm. Yes, I can see how it might have given you some trouble. <laughs> Leia and Elise would probably be worried sick, and Alvin would tease you mercilessly. I think there's a way I can change back. When I fought these guys before, I was somehow able to do it. You fought them? So they really are a bunch of no-good Pengion abusers. We're not, I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. It's okay, Mila. They're the ones who told me where to find you. And they're not Pengyon abusers. Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go jumping to the wrong conclusions about you. Everyone, thank you so much for reaching out to me. No need to thank us. We just did the same as anybody would. I'm glad you found your friend. However, both of you are still stuck here. It's fine. The two of us will figure something out. We'll get Jude back to his normal self and find our way home to Riza Maxia. Yeah. Oh, do you want to come along too? You know this Pengyon? Yeah, for some reason I've taken quite a liking to him. Oh. Something about him Got just my feels familiar. On my leg. <laughs> I suppose so.
That's it? You down here? They're gone. Is it really okay to let them leave? Yes. What do you say, Aizen? Do you think Mila is connected to the Empyreans? No. Her arts felt fundamentally different from the ones we Malakim use. Agreed. I think I might actually believe they came from another world. In that case, we can let them be. Since she took down that exorcist, I don't think we need to worry about her joining forces with the Abbey. Yeah, but couldn't she still join our side? I wonder. I feel like she might be a bit out of our league. I don't know. I think you two have more in common than you'd care to admit. We should leave them be. Besides, if they came with us, Eleanor might try to eat Jude. I would not! Huh. Not that I got anything up to even nine, I don't think, so... Not like I needed that. Where was I? Just Google side quest. Instead of searching every nook and cranny, Google is your friend. On the highway, I would have never found this one. Okay. So, by the Imperial Throne. Did that. Did that. Did that. Okay, so I still have one left, and there's a follow up to Phoenix. See? Google's a magical tool. And just saved me some trouble. Actually, it didn't save me trouble, it caused me trouble because I wouldn't have found that and I would have just skipped it. I must have used the other entrance when I came in or didn't notice the thing here. Probably walked right into the city. This is truly the last thing in the game. Apparently I was supposed to get hit by Mystic Arts to get achievements. I don't give a shit. I don't know how many I missed throughout Hiya. the game. I ain't gonna find out. You, <clears throat> in reading glasses? Hey, are you okay? What does it say? I can't read it right now. One of you do it. Okay. Dear brother, I got your letter. Not sure why it was so tattered. I'm glad that you were able to tell me how you really feel, even though it was beyond obvious by now. Your clear descriptions of the self-defense Malak arts allowed me to master them quickly, despite your terrible grammar. As weird as it feels writing this to a pirate, good luck with your work. And I know how to keep a secret. So please keep writing me letters. My life doesn't revolve around them, but I do enjoy hearing from you. I can't see the oceans you sail from my perch here on the mountain, but I'm thinking of you and praying for your safety. And I want you to know I'm doing fine. <sighs> ah, looks like she's just as roundabout and stubborn as her brother. It must run in the family. There's more. P.S. Thanks for the Nor dolls. They're not really all that cute, but I guess I like them a little bit. But ever since I got that last one, 
I hear this voice at night telling me I should write you and be here for you when you need to vent. It's actually rather annoying, but since the doll is a gift from you, I'll make a special exception for it. That's all. Sounds like she's really got it together. You know, I don't think we ever asked you her name. Edna. That's a pretty name. Glad you think so. I'm the one who named her. I'm going to pull up something on YouTube real quick. I'm going to send someone a video of Bernie Mac. He's, uh, I ain't scared of you motherfuckers set because he was like, Looks like you're a shitty abusive owner, OP, and afraid to respond to any comments. So I had to send him a, I ain't, a, I ain't afraid of you motherfuckers. supposed to come here next from what I read. Must have skipped a step. Oh, Galbar guys. Doctor, you should have been in my side quest shit in general. Fuck up. Maybe the instructions fucked up. It did. Instructions said east. Busy here. On my way. Didn't hit that. But whatever. I would have liked to have saved up, actually, and, you know, maybe take it to the fight that's coming up. Apparently I gotta fight a Dark Turtles at some point. Afraid to talk to you?
Hello, white turtles. How's business? Not great. Not great at all. Thanks to certain somebodies, my balances have all gone haywires. Serves me right for counting my turtles before they hatched. <sighs> that sounds awful, I guess. Don't feel bad. Not like it's got anything to do with us. Certainly not. That's why today's your lucky day. Cause I'm throwing another big sales. Come on, guys. You're being too mean to him. He's done so much to help us throughout our journey, hasn't he? Yeah, I guess. Listen, Mr. Turtles. If something's ever got you down, you can tell us. I don't know how much help we can be, but I bet even just talking about it will make you feel better. <sighs> I can't tell you how nice it feels to hear such kind words at a time like this. Sure, fine. But what about the sale? Right! Uh, everything's on sale at market prices once again! Great, thanks. Fee, give the nice turtles the smile he wants so much. Thanks for everything, Mr. Turtles. No, thank yous. <laughs> Uh huh, you died. Oh, sorry if anyone's saying anything on Twitch. I kind of buried my chat under all these windows. I should probably remedy that. You're responsible. Of it. I'm not saying anything, anyways. Okay. Go. In that corner there, would be that exclamation point. Apparently got a missed call a minute ago, but my phone made a text noise instead of the missed call noise. Weird. And it's from a number I don't recognize, so I don't give a shit. Catches me, I don't mind, because I do need the souls, or the G's. the game doesn't arbitrarily decide to use up my mystic art meter like it tends to do hey is every oh, what's up cat hi there if you need scratch for your trip then look no further than Les cats's corner store Meow. what no white turtles maybe he caught a cold and decided to stay in bed and sleep just the opposite meow 
you might even say he's had an awakening. Meow. He's seen the truth of this crazy world, Meow. What are you going on about? Whatever it is, I'm worried about him. Then you should visit Cat's Corner, Meow. I heard there's a turtles there waiting for you guys to show up, Meow. Cat's Corner, huh? Wonder what he's doing there. It's in gigs. You get an upgrade and you get an upgrade. Be the final fight, so fuck it. You don't need it. In the fight. Or you. You. Up to here. Not worth my time. I wonder how hard it's gonna be, considering it's a follow up to the Phoenix fight. Was just getting in the house what's that Toid song us. everyone loves them toidles it's called the hymn of toidles it's an old family song a real blast from the past it's a curse song one meant to put chills down your spines but it's almost a waste to things to use, pipsqueaks. What? I don't understand a word you're saying. You will soon enough. Trust me. You like how nice and dark this shell is? Hold on, are you... white turtles? You've turned down a dark path. A path that you's all sent me down! We did? Yeah! And now I'm gonna cook you a new one! Cook him a new one? Why? And not just laugh is it. I'm gonna cook you a new one too, sister! And Rokiro, and Aizen, and Magalu! You guys are getting cooked too! I'm up to my shell in debts! And it's all because of you guys and your discounts! I'm so in the reds! I got sold off to be made into turtle soup. They were dressing me up with spices and everything, planning to make a whole feast out of me. I still don't understand a word you're saying. I want it all back. I want the good old days when I was young and I. But now my heart and shell. They's all gone dark as the soy sauce I was marinated in. Yes. Now I am Dark Toidles! Because of yous, my old life is gone forever. Okay. What? Behold the salty soy darkness that stews within my heart! I can't believe.
very nice slide as well. To the range one. Turned black. That must have been quite the soy sauce. It was. Soon, you'll all end up this way too. I'm going to boil and stew you all. Every last one of you. The power. Leave me alone. Scale crusher. Upon my Scale crusher. Scale crusher. Come on, 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 Scale crusher. Come Oh, just not let me get off of Mystic Art. Oh, just to rub it in. I want to stun. Keep it With him being a follow up to Phoenix, I expected him to be a lot tougher. That one actually hurt. Meanie, leave me alone. I will die. Meanie, this is great. 
did not invite you in. Underwhelming. Now I am done with this game after this cutscene. It feels salty yet sweet. This is it then. Careful, Velvet. If you eat too much salt all at once, your blood pressure will go through the roof. Truly, he's not a very appetizing color. Though he does remind me of those noodles from East Gand. I wasn't actually going to eat him. Although we do like our flavors thick in East Gand. You guys just don't get it, do you? The flavor's packed in, but I'm still low in sodium. And with plenty of omega-3s, I'm good for your skin twos. More pride than sense. It's not like I wants to tell you all this. But I've been marinated so much! I've got no life ahead of me but to become the best stews anyone's ever tasted! <laughs> Velvet, don't make the guy cry. How is any of this my fault? Simmer down, Meow! Don't worry, Dark Turtles. You're not cooked yet, Meow. As long as you don't lose hope, a better tomorrow is sure to come along, Meow. Your words are too kind. It's like more salt on my wounds. Oh, <laughs> it sounds like what you need is the cat's pajamas, Meow. Cat's pajamas? It's a fun place to unwind, have a few drinks with friends, and cleanse the soul of all life's problems, Meow. Can it really cleanse any soul? Even one as dark from soys as mine. Where there's a will, there's a way. It's not a matter of can or can't, meow. The cat's pajamas is where go-getters can get together. And grown-ups only. You have to be 2,000 to enter, meow. Ah, that's no good. I just a 999-year-old juvenile. With turtles, nobody can tell the difference anyway, meow. Don't sweat the small stuff. That's the key to getting the most out of cat's pajamas and really life as a whole, meow. Take that to heart and you can tell everyone you got the inner wisdom of a 9,999-year-old, meow. You know, I think I'm starting to feel ready to take on the world again like I used to. I'll give this cat's pajamas a shot and see if it can cleanse my soul. Sounds great, Meow. Allow me to show you around, Dark Turtles. We'll get you set up with all sorts of nice drinks, Meow. So, 
What is the cat's pajamas? Well, Eleanor... I haven't the slightest idea. It sounds like a good time. We should go and check it out. Let's not. That's not a path worth going down. After all that, I still have no idea what the point was. Maybe there wasn't one to begin with. Oh no. I think today's events hold some significance. Just what'll become of that turtle's heart after the cleansing, though, is hard to say. The end. And I got another, uh, another achievement thing. I don't even know why I bothered saving because I'm done with the game. I'm not opening that shit again. I'm done ski. So, time for me to figure out which game is next. Either Rainbow Six Siege, For Honor, or Wild Terra. So I got all three of those and haven't really played them. Except Rainbow Six Siege. Which I only got through the tutorial shit. So, yeah. I'm gonna take a break and figure out what game I'm playing next.